Kiyuchi, every month, you're just a shy below your goal. I understand that you're working hard, but sales are about results. You understand that, right? Yes, I understand. I'm Arata Kiyuchi. I'm currently 24 and work at a job advertisement agency. It's my second year working here. My job is to make appointments to companies and stores over the phone and go there in person to get advertisement contracts. However, I get scolded by my boss every month for not achieving the targets set by the company. Doing your best is not the only way to work hard. First, take a look back at your own sales method. Got it. This is Itsukushima-san, my boss and section manager. He has risen to that position at the young age of 33. He has sharp eyes and a perfect work style, making him difficult to approach. That's all for now. Do what you have to do. Jeez, were you being scolded again? You never grow up. Todome-san. When I finished talking with Itsukushima-san and left the conference room, I was approached by Sashiko Todome, my senpai. The word incompetent really suits you. You always look stupid. You don't look in the mirror every day, do you? If you did, you wouldn't be able to come to work from shame. <laughs> Does the face matter? As for my sales results, someday, I'll surpass even you! Well, the weaker the dog, the more it barks. Anyone can say bold things. If you overtake me in sales results, my career will be over. Well, I guess that's not gonna happen, though. <laughs> Toromasa looks at me disdainfully, as if she's looking at something dirty. Way. I'm saying you are bothering the section chief. Just quit already. With that, Toromi-san left. Ah, <sighs> I'm tired. I jump into bed as soon as I get home. I'm annoyed by being called incompetent. I myself was wondering how I could break out of the current situation. I wonder what's wrong. Even as I thought about this, I continue to experience poor sales results. One day, what? I'm going to be in charge of that major temporary staffing company with Itsukushima-san? Yeah, this is a business partner that the general manager finally managed to secure after two years. He told us to be in charge. We're going to go visit them tomorrow to discuss plans, so get ready. Got it! This is a great chance! If I can maintain this contract every month, I'll get much closer to achieving my goal! But... Why did the general manager appoint me? Oh, Chief! Why Kuichi? I will definitely be more of help to you. Don't you think so? Todome-san, who was listening to us, had doubts. She asks in a sweet voice that she only uses to the Chief. It has already been decided. Todome, you do your job. Todome-san then immediately glared at me. I better evacuate before I get harassed. The next day, I headed to the client's office with Itsukushima-san to greet them and propose a plan. Well, we're done talking about work. The travel time after this is painful. What should we talk about? The, the silence is awkward. Actually, scary. Situations like this can be one of the toughest aspects of sales. That's what I secretly thought. Uh, I couldn't do anything. And on the way home from the meeting, it became later than I expected. So, he suggested that we take a taxi home, so we are now in a taxi. But, even though I had a lot of meetings with the chief in advance, I couldn't find an opportunity to jump into the discussion. In the end, I left all the talking to him. He's definitely angry. He's been silent since a while ago. My bad. Oh, I'm sorry that I couldn't do anything! Uh, uh, wait, huh? I thought I was gonna get scolded, but instead, he apologized to me. Why? I should have let you talk more. There was no point in going together, was there? I was definitely thinking that I can't let this project fall apart. I couldn't pay attention to teamwork. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. Maybe it's natural because he's a human. He's not perfect but seeing this different side of him than usual, 
I didn't know what to say. Huh? Isn't it kind of noisy? Yeah, my place is nearby, but there are a lot of fire trucks. When the taxi approached my house, I was perplexed. There's a lot of black smoke rising. Isn't there a fire? What? Black smoke was certainly rising in the direction the chief was looking at, and it was in the direction of my house. I immediately get out of a taxi and run towards my house. No way. When I rush to the center of the commotion, to my surprise, the place where my house should be is engulfed in flames and smoke. Get back! It's dangerous, so please step back! I stood there spacing out for a while. After a while, the fire was finally extinguished and my mind comes back to reality. Kyuchi. Huh? Chief? At this point, I finally remembered his presence and panicked. Did you stay by my side the whole time? Uh, I'm sorry, I... Oh no, no matter how stunned I was by the fire, I still neglected my boss. Just when my head was totally confused. Well, anyway, it's already late, so come to my house for now. Huh? What he said to me was something I never expected. After three seconds, I understood the meaning of his words and shook my head in a panic. No, no, no! That's... I feel bad. It's okay, I'll go to an internet cafe or something. So you have nowhere to go. You won't be able to get rid of your fatigue that way. It's a problem for me too if you can't concentrate on work. This is an order from your boss. Come to my house. Yes, sir. The manager called a taxi again, and I ended up going to his house. By the way, while I was too shocked to move, he apparently bought me various things at a convenience store. I tried to pay him back right away, but he just said, Pay me back after you get promoted. I kept feeling sorry because I was constantly being taken care of. I have no choice but to work hard and repay the kindness. I'll definitely increase my sales. Welcome back! Oh, Nichan, you were late! Huh? It feels... different from usual. Apparently, he was so surprised by a hug from a girl, that he turned into Rao to keep his cool. How does that work? Isn't that some amazing special skill to have? Come to think of it, I never told you, did I, Kyuchi? This is my younger sister, Wakana. Wait, are we really doing the introductions when he's like this? Well... Nice to meet you. I'm Wakana. I moved to Tokyo this year and I'm working as a nail artist. I'm staying here until my job settles down and I can find a place to live. Kuichi san, was it? I heard it from my brother. It was really terrible that your house went on fire. It's my brother's house, but relax and make it home. Thank you very much. It seems that Chief had contacted her in advance when I was spaced out. When Wakana-san learned that I had nowhere to go, she immediately suggested we live together in this house, and Chief agreed. I feel bad, but I'm grateful because my parents live far away. Even so, it's a really tidy room. You must be busy though. This is amazing. Of course it's tidy. A disordered room is a disordered mind. Ugh, I couldn't let him see my room. This is how the Itsukushima siblings and I began living together. So, so fast! He is typing messages so quickly that I can't see his fingers! Wakana, your voice was a little hoarse yesterday. I guess you were feeling a bit sick. Today I made soy milk and egg noodles that contain zinc and vitamin A. I heard it's good for sore throats. of you H how kind and attentive amazing he's perfect even at home he's truly a superhero two weeks have passed since I started living with them what I learned was this 
The chief is quick to respond and can provide detail to follow up to clients because of the actions he takes on a regular basis. Let's have a pizza party today! Wow, pizza! Tadataka-kun, nice idea! This is Tadataka Komatsu-san, a friend of Chief. He often comes to the house, so I get treated well too. He's a very frank and friendly person, unlike the strict Chief. Today's Saturday, and Wakana-chan had an early shift at work, so the four of us enjoyed the pizza party. Tadataka-san, thank you for the pizza. Please let me help you with the dishes. Oh, thanks! After eating my fill of pizza, I helped Tadataka-san clean up. Are you getting used to living here? Have you already started looking for your next place? Yes, on the weekends, I go out to real estate agents, but I haven't found a good place yet. To be honest, at first, I was so scared to live here. I thought my stomach would burst from stress and fear. But thanks to my stay here, I understood why Chief is so amazing. I'm just amazed that they're such a perfect person. So lately, I've been writing down what I learned from watching him. <laughs> I see, that's great. Huh? Tarataka-san suddenly burst into laughter. I don't think that was funny, though. I'm confused. That guy's a good boss, isn't he? Well, that must be true. I'm sure that's how he appears to his subordinates. Huh? Um, what do you mean? Did I say something weird? No, no. But he's pretty timid in front of me, you know? He always whines saying stuff like, I couldn't do anything but get mad again. What? What? When I heard that, I couldn't help but shout out loud. Is he talking about the same person? There's that kind of side to him too? That's right. He's just a human. It's true that he's always serious and attentive though. But he often whines about his lack of skills, saying it's his fault that his favorite subordinate is not performing well. Huh? His favorite subordinate? Tadataka-san suddenly grins at me. And isn't he bad at expressing his feelings? He's not perfect at all. Well, I think people are interesting because they aren't perfect, don't you think? Ah! What are you two talking about, secretly? Let me in too! Kwa! Wakana just suddenly hugs me from behind! Oh, oh, you're so popular with the siblings, Kyuchikun. I'm so jealous. It's Kushima-san. May I discuss this matter with you? Yeah. Since then, I started to feel less scared about talking to him, perhaps because I learned that he's not perfect. So I started actively talking to him at work. Now that I think about myself, maybe I was an introvert. Don't you think Kuichi-kun has changed recently? He's like full of energy now. He's even started to talk to that demon chief. He's got a strong heart. Hey! As I was about to go to the convenience store to buy lunch, Todomisan stopped me with a powerful voice. You, why are you stuck with the chief lately? Your performance isn't going to improve anyway, so stop wasting your efforts. It may be a burden to the chief, but I haven't caused any trouble to you, have I? That's not what I'm talking about. You are just trying to show him that you're working hard and that's annoying. I realized what I was lacking while spending time with him. Don't disturb me. While well, spending time with him? What do you mean? I currently live with him. There's really a lot to learn. Well, a lot has happened. Is that all? I'm going to buy lunch. Well then. I quickly left as I didn't want to spend any more time with her. Ugh! That guy! I hate him! And that month, for the first time, I was able to achieve my target. Congratulations! And you've gone way beyond your target. You're like a different person. Thank you! 
Everyone in the sales department congratulates me one by one. I can't believe you're growing so fast. If you have any secret tricks, please tell me. No secret tricks, but I realize that even if you just try to do your job well, nothing will change. Whether it's your private life or work, everything is related. So I changed myself from scratch. The person who taught me this was Chief Itsukushima. This achievement was thanks to you! I bowed deeply to Chief Itsukushima in front of everyone. Then, the manager put his hand on my shoulder and gave me a gentle smile. Not anyone can keep trying, especially when there are no results. It took a long time, but the experience you have gained so far will be an asset to you. Be proud of who you are now. Seeing him smile for the first time, all the employees there were thrilled. Hey, hey everyone! Aren't you celebrating too much for just a one-time achievement? However, Torome's words instantly froze the air. She speaks with a mocking smile on her face. The burden of your poor performance up until now has been placed on someone else. Shouldn't you pay off the damage you've incurred so far? Are you saying this because your number has been surpassed by him? What? That's right. My achievement this time far exceeded my target, and it was higher than Torome-san's. But... among those numbers, there are cases where you are in charge along with him, right? This time, those big projects helped him achieve his goal. That doesn't mean I lost. Sure, we had joint projects. But you have also received many referrals from higher-ups, right? Then the conditions are the same, right? Uh. If you're also in sales, you should know how difficult it is to achieve those numbers. And yet, why can't you say congratulations even once? As a salesperson, you may be an individual player, but as a company, you are part of a team. Do you get that? With these words, the salespeople around us began to raise their voices too. She's Koichi kun senior, right? I would hate to have a senior like that. I feel sorry for Koichi kun. I've never seen act like a senior. I guess she thought other people would agree with her. However, the reality was different from what she had imagined, and she left. Then one day, about two weeks after that... What is it that you wanted to talk to me about? Itsukushima-san and Todome-san were alone, in a small conference room. It's already been six years since I joined this company. Others have been promoted, but I haven't. Why is that? Why do you think that is? I think there is a problem with the company's evaluation system. There is no difference in results for me and my peers. But I'm the only one who hasn't been promoted. It's so strange. After a moment of silence, the manager lets out a sigh. Ugh, <sighs> Todome, with that kind of thinking, you'll never get promoted. Instead of blaming others, look at yourself first. You cannot break out of your current situation unless you change yourself. Since that day, Torome-san has been isolated. However, because she thinks that she's not at fault, her attitude has become even worse, making her even more isolated. I'm doing what I have to do! I don't know what I'm at fault for! Todome. Each person has their own stage of growth. First of all, increase sales. Next, set an example as a senior. Looking at yourself now, do you think anyone would want a senior or boss like yourself? I've seen you say cruel things to Kyuchi too. That's because his sales weren't going up, so it doesn't matter what I say to him, right? No matter how hard he tries, if he doesn't get results, he's just a burden. But he wasn't slacking off. It took some time, but he analyzed himself and improved. That's why he grew and got results. 
I think it is a duty of seniors and bosses to wait for that moment and provide support. You are all about Kirichi. <gasps> what is it? I heard you guys even live together. Are you two dating or something? Chief suddenly becomes silent. Toromi-san had a mocking expression on her face, but was taken aback by his atmosphere. No, but it's true that I can't leave someone like him alone. <gasps> then, you do like him! Damn that Kuichi! Toromi grits her teeth. No way. It's natural to want to support people who are working hard. That's all I'm saying. Avoid strange speculations. Is that all you want? I've already told you what I think. The rest is up to you. He quickly gets up from his seat and was about to leave the room. But he stopped, then turned around and added one last thing. I like hardworking people, but I hate people who work hard to bring down others without improving themselves. Not long after that, Torome quit her job. According to some of the female colleagues, Torome used to be all over Itsukushima-san, but she was avoiding him in the end. Itsukushima-san was whispering to himself that there's no hope for her no matter where she goes. I guess that's it? Thank you for your help! I ended up staying at the chief's house for a long time. I finally decided on a new place to live, and today, Chief and Tarataka-san were helping me move. Well, it was partly Wakana's fault, right? It looked like you found a new house, but Wakana suddenly started complaining that she's gonna live with you. Cause I've started to like Arata. It can't be helped, right? Wakana clings to my arm with her cheeks puffed out. Actually, we started dating. So, it's both me and Wakana who are moving in. Chief, thank you very much for your help until now. Well, we still meet at work, though. <laughs> well, I just did what I had to do. Well, there's one more thing I would like to thank you for. You were the one who recommended me for that temporary staffing company case, right? I heard from the general manager. <sighs> it was to make me more confident about myself, right? Thank you very much for always caring about me. I want to be a boss like you. A boss who can support someone without giving up until the end. Thank you for your help today. Well then. You're trying not to show it on your face, but you're really happy right now, aren't you? For me, you're super easy to read. Damn it. No one can do anything perfectly from the beginning. Growth is possible no matter your age. I will continue to work hard to become the kind of person who can support those who wish to grow. Hello, everyone, it's Brittany. Uh, it was so wonderful to see such a wonderful friendship between the chief and our main character. I'm so happy he had the support and the drive to keep trying as hard as he could to get to the position he deserved to be in. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.